you've been here for a little while, you'll know that I'm getting more and more into astrophotography. I'm still nowhere near as good as I want to be, but God loves a trier. <laughs> I have been very interested in trying a star tracker for quite a while. If you're unaware, a star tracker is something that you can put your camera on and it moves incredibly slowly in sync with how the Earth moves, or I guess how the stars are moving. The movement. You know when you take a photograph of the stars and it's blurred? This moves along with everything and keeps it all in focus. Which means you usually, depending on your lens, at a maximum you could get maybe 30 seconds of an exposure before the stars start to trail. If you use this product and set it up correctly, you can extend that into minutes. And that means you'll get much better definition of the Milky Way or whatever it is you're looking to shoot. All of your stars will be pin sharp and it'll be a lot less noisy as well. I was a little bit intimidated in terms of how to set this up because, you know, Lord knows I am not the most technical person in the world. But I'm very happy to report that not only is this very portable and cheap, it is also very, very easy to set up. Possibly the easiest on the market to set up because it uses quite a clever sort of workaround. To set up a star tracker, you have to align your star tracker with Polaris, which is the North Star, which if you stick your camera on a long exposure, it will be the one that everything spins around in the Northern Hemisphere. This is all for the Northern Hemis Hemisphere. Frankly, the Southern Hemisphere sounds way more complicated. <laughs> so you can buy your Move Shoot Move with a ridiculously strong laser. You attach that to your Move Shoot Move, point the laser at Polaris, you can use sort of an augmented reality app on your phone if you don't know how to find it yourself, but I'm sure a lot of you clever people know how to find it anyway. I use the app. And you can literally point the laser at Polaris, bosh, you're done. None of this figuring out how many degrees you need to put it on your latitude and longitude, none of that. It's just point at the right star and you're done. <laughs> Aside from it being really portable, the simplicity of how to set it up really appealed to me. Because if you've ever watched any star tracking videos before, some of them can be a little bit complex. I'm not saying that this would be the most accurate in the world. You know, if you had sort of a really long telephoto lens up and you had sort of a narrower margin for error. I don't think this method would be the best. But if you were shooting relatively wide anyway, it works and it's quick and you can do it pretty easily in the dark as well because it's a laser <laughs> and the child in me just loves that I get to faff about with a laser for fun <laughs> I bet you could honestly see it for miles around like you, it literally just like a bat signal into the sky it's mental I loved it but anyway back to pretending I'm a professional <laughs> so I went to Wales for two nights to the Brecon Beacons, which is like a national park, which is one of the lowest areas of light pollution in the UK. And it was cloudy. <laughs> of course it was. I really tried. My plan was on the first night to try it with my Lumix S1, and then the second night to try it with my GH5. The first night, between midnight and 3am, we got a bit of sort of clear skies. I was watching Stranger Things in the cottage and nipping in and out until it was clear enough. And the light pollution was amazing. It was literally so dark on the new moon that, you know, you couldn't see two feet in front of you. And there was a lot of chickens in this place. There was one called Hector that kept coming in and it was a bit terrifying. <laughs> Sometimes you'd just be sat there and a chicken would come in. But anyway, didn't want to boot any chickens in the dark. I set it up before it went dark, which is a damn good solution um just because doing this sort of thing in the pitch black you'll have to put a light on and then it'll bugger up your night vision unless you have a red head torch which i did not have i got one shot which works superbly which i had the 24 mil lens on which you know that using the 500 rule that would give you 20 seconds of exposure under normal circumstances i did this for a full 60 seconds so I got it all working, pin sharp, without any issue. 
idiot forgot to take a photo of the foreground, so the foreground is blurry. <laughs> so um, if you do use this yourself, take a photo static of the foreground before you start. Potentially at blue hour, in fact, that's probably a really good way to make sure you get a good picture of the foreground and then use the tracker for the stars. The next day when I was gonna use my GH5, unfortunately it was completely cloudy. And the next new moon I'm free for, I'm gonna be in Monument Valley. Yes, I am, camping. Yeah, I'm very excited. So, this is a bit of an introduction to the product. And if you are interested in hopefully seeing some much better results in the coming months, I'm going to take this with me to Monument Valley and it's a new moon. So provided that it is clear, I'm gonna get some amazing astro shots. I'm gonna take my GH5 and my S1 and use them both. I'm well excited. So this is a great product. It's one of the smallest ones, if not the smallest, star tracker on the market. It's absolutely got to be the easiest one to align and it works superbly even with heavier kit, provided you set it all up right and you're not an idiot. So watch this space. I'm going to get much better results the next time I use it. And if you are interested in upping your astrophotography skills without spending a shed load on a ridiculously fast expensive lens, this is a really good alternative. If you have any questions about star tracking, do let me know and I shall try my best to um, answer your questions. And if not, I'll point you in the direction of someone who's more knowledgeable. So hopefully the next time I use it, I'm gonna get absolutely epic results and it's gonna blow your mind. Honest. <laughs>